Hi, this is James Hayton with the PhD Essentials Podcast. In this episode, I'm going to talk about writing your thesis in a second language, which is obviously a very, very common situation. Now, I've got some experience of this. Fortunately, as a native English speaker, I wrote my thesis in my own language. But when I was a postdoc, I worked in both France and Spain, where where I didn't speak the language, or at least I didn't speak anything when I first arrived. Now, this may be a much simpler situation than writing a thesis, but occasionally I would have to write an email or something um, in French or Spanish. And having such a low level of the language, it took a huge amount of effort to write even a very simple email. But what I tried to do was, even in the simplest kind of writing, even in the shortest messages, try to do it as well as I could. And that meant taking time and thinking about every single word, every single sentence. There was simply no other way to do it because I had to look up words, I had to look up um, verb conjugations. And if I didn't do that, I simply wouldn't have been able to communicate via email. That same approach giving time and thought to every single word, every single sentence, that also applies to thesis writing. There'll be times when you just have to stop and think and look up a word, look up grammar, look up different sentence constructions. There simply is no other way to do it. If you try to follow the advice of just writing as fast as you can, then there's just going to be loads and loads of gaps. The only way to improve your skill is by slowing down and taking the time and thinking. Even though it takes a long time, the next time you have to use that word or the next time you have to use that conjugation, it's a little bit faster because you've done it before. And the next time it's a little bit faster still. And then gradually you can start to build confidence and you can start to get faster. But you have to allow yourself to slow down when necessary because that is the only way that it's possible to learn. Now, One other thing that I would add to this is that you should also try to explore different sentence constructions. Because what happens once you reach a certain level of proficiency where you can get by in a language, you also tend to form habits. So you'll use the same kind of sentences again and again. You'll use the same phrases and it becomes quite repetitive. So in order to add a little bit of variety to your language, when you're writing, again, even a short email, try to look at the sentence that you've written and then think about is there another way to say this is there another sentence construction is there another um, phrase that you can use to convey the same meaning and that will take you beyond that kind of habitual maybe quite primitive language which you might use and will start to improve the the variety that you have so it can be done but it takes time and it takes effort and you have to allow yourself to take the time which is necessary